crack o dawn. What are we doing here, Mark? Drinking coffee. <laughs> um, we're drinking coffee and we're also here to support the Hiller Aviation Museum's annual fun run. Really? Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> yeah, we're here really early. They're doing a 2K, 5K and 10K race to raise money for the museum and for some science programs. It's really a great benefit. And if you've never been to Hiller Museum, you really should come down here, bring the kids, just some wonderful aviation history helicopters, airplanes, it's just a really fun place to come to. Yeah, hey, let's go and uh, walk around and see what's going on. Come on. We're here with uh, Jeffrey Bass, the President and CEO of Hiller Museum. We are at your fun race event, and what's the official title of the event? It's our fifth annual airport runway run. Wonderful. This event obviously is here to raise funds. What are the funds used for here at the Hiller Museum? Well, the Hiller Aviation Museum, we're basically an educational institution in the sense that, you know, this is where you go to indulge your inspiration and interest in aviation and science, technology, and engineering in general. So we use aviation as sort of a hook to get kids and adults of, of any age interested in the sciences and aviation in particular. So every year over 100,000 people visit the museum, over 50,000 of them are youth and we have programs and activities for them from flight simulation to aviation camps to invention lab maker spaces and things where they can really get in-depth experiences with aviation science and technology so if somebody's out there right now watching this video and they're thinking i'd really love to do that next year how do they sign up well you want to keep an eye on our website at www.hiller.org because that's where we do all of the announcements about the race and the airport runway run registration is done through our website and we have other if you're involved in racing and running you we have a presence on other sort of uh, racing blogs and websites, but our website, Hiller.org, is the place to go. All right, and I'm assuming there's also a membership you can have to the Hiller Museum. What do you get with that membership? Well, with the membership, you get free admission all year. You can buy a, a family membership for your family and, and things like free visits to our flight sim zone. And we have special member-only events and other kinds of things that make it really special to be a member at Hiller Aviation Museum. I also know you guys will host uh, local events uh, through private organizations. I've been here multiple times yep. for like school auctions and things like that. You can so rent the museum you for your event museum, or party. Absolutely. Which is a really cool thing to do. <laughs> it looks like we have some serious runners here and we yep. have just families running with little kids and strollers. Yeah, it's the uniqueness of being on an airport. I mean, you don't usually get to run on the runway of an airport. That's a felony if you do that at an airport. People also might have different levels of fitness. So what are the different types of races? Well, there are three races we run. There's a uh, 10K, a 5K, and a 2K. So it's basically going to go anywhere from a mile to six miles, 2K, 5K, 10K. So you don't have to be super fit to take no, part? No, Again, and you can walk or stroll the 2K or the 5K. If you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. Well, we know what we're doing next year. <laughs> Jeffrey, thank you so much for Oh, your you're time. welcome. Thanks for coming today. Thank yeah, you so much. absolutely. Okay, so we're here at Hilla, and we've got one of the sponsors <laughs> with us, Aaron from Posture. Posture Genius. Genius, yes. <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for letting us talk the to you. The Posture Genius. Okay, so how often do you come to the um, fun run? Is this your this is our This is our second time that we were here in 2019 as, yeah. a, as a sponsor. And then we were also, because we had canceled 2020, right. yeah. and here we are again. Excellent. Yes, yes. So I, I see you've got some of your uh, massage bags up. Yes, we have them up and ready. I was on the first Olympic sports massage team for the U.S. Wow. And, and, and they had it in, in 1984 in Los Angeles. And from there, I could see how you could do high turnover post-event sports massage. So I teach my team, and we can do five-minute treatments right after the session. Oh, wow. Yes. That so great. you guys primarily, I mean, dealing with uh, massaging athletes, or is really this just for anybody? Actually, I started out working with athletes, but I said, wait a minute, everybody needs some kind of health team. You know, especially for people who are proactive about their health and bodies, and people who are looking to get better as they get older. So it's not just for, for athletes, it's for everybody who wants to be proactive about their health and, and health choices. I like the idea of getting older, you know, the yes. alternative, eh, not yeah. sure about it. Well, if you're going to get older, you might as well prepare for, for it by getting healthier and healthier every year. 
No, if somebody out there is thinking, I really, really want to come and find Aaron and, and use his services, how would they find you? www.thepostergenius.com. Right, where are you guys located? We're in San Mateo at the heart of Silicon right, Valley. Yeah, local, I love it. Easy to get to and worth the trip. Well, thank you, Aaron, for being here and sponsoring the event. I'm happy really to sponsor it. the event because I'm really all about making sure you have great choices to have somebody on your health and body team so that you can get the best out of your body and live your best life. Excellent. I like that. What's going on here is that uh, she's stretching the front of the thighs. And a lot of times what happens when runners have this, these leg muscles too tight, it tilts the pelvis forward and you wind up with a short stride. And over time, if you wind the clock forward, you wind up with knee problems and foot problems that you could have otherwise solved. So this helps that process happen easier, faster, better. And that's just one of the things that we do. We look ahead to see what does the athlete need. Even if you're a weekend athlete, even if you are competitive or, or an amateur athlete, there's something that we can do to support you in your health and body goals. So we're Civil Air Patrol. We are a group of cadets that have come out here for the runway run to help staff the event. And also currently we're holding a recruiting booth to show information about what Civil Air Patrol is because it's a very uncommon program. We've been helping out mostly in the morning with check-in, uh, making sure that everyone is going through the gates properly. So we've been mainly doing the morning stuff and then currently in the afternoon we're holding a recruiting booth. My name's Amanda and I'm here with my BFF Vanessa and this is something that we always do together. We love running and so it's fun to have a reason to run and a course all laid out for us and we get a medal at the end. This is our third 5k together but our first time here so we're really excited to participate. My name is Beth and I've been doing this event since it started. A family friend of ours volunteers at the museum and he got us into it the first year and we just keep coming back every year to support them. And I'm Bob and this is actually my first time running at this event. So, very excited. Beth is my sister-in-law and my wife and, and her did get me into it. I she believe I've, me. En <laughs> I've encouraged people to join in in the race. We used to run together yeah. years ago. So it was kind of like, uh, let's get back into it. Yeah. Do it again. Hello, my name is Benchik Bayer. I've been running for four years now. I'm from New York City. I'm an electrical and computer engineering student. I'm only here on an, an internship. It makes it special because it's for a good cause. The whole runner's atmosphere during a pandemic is really exciting. Uh, it's my first time doing it. I started running again in COVID. I thought it'd be neat to run on an airport, a runway. When's, you know, when do you ever get to do that? It's similar, I started running again through COVID and just looking for something fun to do with a bit of a goal. And yeah, a bit like Ed, the chance to kind of run on the airport was kind of unique. So here we are. I'm with Saga, who's a photographer. Yeah, it's great to be here this morning. Thanks for having us. And uh, yeah, so I've been volunteering here for a few years and our job as the photo crew, Team Rainbow, and uh, we are here to take pictures of the event so that we can use it to help promote and get the runners some shots of them on the runway. Wonderful. And, and I've noticed, you know, we are on the runway. They've actually closed it. How, how long do they close the runway for? Uh, it'll be closed for two hours. So we got the fastest of the fast, but we also got the slowest of the slows. All kids in strollers and we got moms and dads and entire families running and taking their sweet time and uh, having a blast.
the end of the race with our friends Will. Will, what race have you just done? The 5K. And how are you feeling, Will? <laughs> oh, I'm good now. You didn't see me at the finish line. <laughs> you, you did have a bit of a late night last night. You I, still I made did. it here. I did, well I did. Done. I barely made it. I rode my scooter here. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All right. At any time during the uh, run on the runway, did you ever feel like you needed to look back to see nothing's coming at you? Oh, no, 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 no. I was, if I turn around and look back, I'm going to go slow. <laughs> well, thank you, Will. You need to uh, get back home now and probably go back to bed. <laughs> I do. I will Shower say. first. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. All right. See you soon. All right, Viv. That was a wonderful event. But I got to tell you, just watching everybody run, I'm tired. I'm watching. worn out. I'm tired just watching them. I know. Uh, the, you know, I mean, they put a lot of effort into it. Did you see the kids, those little legs? I know. Mm. I loved it. It was so cute. Oh, excellent. But they're going to be doing it every year, like they have been in the past. So I'm going to be here next year. I'll film you. So if you're inspired and you want to take part next year, get onto the Hiller Aviation Museum website and watch out for when the date is, and then you can register. Everything's all online, so very easy. They've made it very easy. They did. It's a wonderful community event. I mean, you're probably going to see some of your neighbors and friends here, and of course, the funds are raised are for a great cause. Support your local uh, airport museum. We'd like to thank you for flying Vibrato Air. We know you have many choices in airlines, but Vibrato Air is the best by far. Yeah.